What's up guys, Maz here. Today I'm going to bring you a quick guide on how we can upgrade our armor and a step-by-step -step guide on how we can find and unlock all the great fairies in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go. So to upgrade our armor in this game, it is similar to how it was in Breath of the Wild. We have to find the Great Fairy, we need to do something to unlock them, we'll be able to give our armor to them, and then they'll be able to upgrade it. Now there are four Great Fairies you can find in this game. Each Great Fairy that you unlock will give us another upgrade level for our armor. So essentially each Fairy has a side quest that you need to do in order to unlock them. Now there are a couple requirements that you need to do before you can start this series of quests. The first requirement is you you do need to complete the first quest for Pura, have the paraglider unlocked, and you're also going to need to have the first tower unlocked as well. The second requirement is you need to tame a horse, and you also need to have the towing harness, which is a key item, and you can get this item from any stable. What you need to do is you have to collect something called pony points. So pony points are basically like a point and reward system in this game that are tied to all the stables. These points are then accumulated and are used to unlock further rewards. So how it works is every stable that you visit for the first time you earn one point getting the pony points are very easy you can also earn points by taming horses there's actually a bunch of horses that can be found directly near lookout landing you can then bring it to any stable after you register the horse you do earn another point after you've earned enough points you speak to the person that runs the stable and then they'll give you the towing harness so to get the towing harness you do have to have i believe it's two or three points and it's the first reward that you get okay so once we've completed those requirements then what we're going to need to do is if we head west from lookout landing we can actually follow this path right here and if we go all the way around, we can then pass by Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower and we can cross this gap, follow this pathway here. And just outside of Rito Village, there's going to be a place called the Lucky Clover Gazette. And this is where we need to be to start the whole quest line to unlock the Great Fairies. Now, if you don't want to go that way, you can also go this path here. It is a little bit longer, but you don't have to cross a giant gap because you can just take this bridge all the way up. And this will also take you here as well. Now, do keep in mind, because this is north, it is going to be very cold. I'd recommend having some type of armor that's going to give you cold resistance. So you want to definitely equip something like that. Or you can always just make yourself a quick dish. So you could just throw five peppers in, just cook those, and you're going to be good to go. So once we head to the Lucky Clover Gazette, which used to be a stable in Breath of the Wild, once we get here, you're going to see two characters here. So basically, they're just talking about Zelda's disappearance and how that they need help. So once we've begun the quest, our first stop, we need to head to the Woodland Stable. So it's very easy to get there. You can just follow the road. So from Lookout Landing, just take this road road all the way up here go past there follow this road and it'll take you right to woodland stable alternatively you can also just fast travel to the shrine right here as well okay so once we make it to woodland stable we're gonna see our friend pen here and he's talking to a couple musicians so after we speak with him they're basically gonna just talk about the great fairy apparently they saw zelda they're gonna say that their wagon broke and it needs to be fixed so once we begin the first quest so we see the broken wagon wagon here we're actually just going to get a couple of these wheels so they're right here for us and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fix their wagon so just going to pop those wheels on right there once the wagon's fixed what we're then going to do is we'll take the horse that we tamed so in this case i'm going to take this horse right here we're going to attach the towing harness then what we'll do is we'll grab the wagon and we'll attach it to the harness we're going to speak with the musicians and we're going to tell them that we will take them to the great fairy so now that we have our horse and we have the wagon attached all we have to do is just take them up the hill then once we take them to the ferry then they're gonna go ahead and play a song for her Then after they play the song, we're just going to get our first little reward, 50 rupees, not too bad. And now we've completed the first quest to unlock the first fairy. What she'll then do is she's going to pinpoint the other three fairies on our map. So after unlocking the first great fairy, we can then enhance our armor by one level. 
So with the first fairy unlocked, we have three more to go. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. So after unlocking the first great fairy, then we're going to head over to the outskirts stable. So we can head just south of Lookout Landing. We could take these paths all the way down. Honestly, just follow the roads. It's pretty straightforward and it's going to bring us just past the Coliseum ruins straight over to outskirts stable. You can also fast travel to this shrine right here. So once we get to the stable, we're going to go ahead and speak with Matt astro again and he's saying that he needs a flute player so we're gonna have to go ahead and find ourselves a flute player in order to unlock Kesa. so once we begin the quest here the next thing we need to do then we're gonna head south to highland stable to get there we can just follow this road again head past the bridge of hylia do be careful there is a flame gliok here so if you don't have the fast travel point to the shrine and if you're gonna take this bridge just be weary of the flame gliok we're just gonna follow this path all the way down to highland Highland Stable. Now once we get to Highland Stable, as we get closer and approach it, you're going to start to hear almost like a flute sound. And if we just take a look over here to the left, there's a tree and you'll see that there's the flute player hanging in the tree. So climb the tree and speak with him. After we speak with Piper, we're going to have to do a very quick quest for him. So in order to get the flute player to go back to the band members, all we need to do is give them 10 sunset fireflies. So sunset fireflies, they're fairly easy to find. Now, obviously in order to find them, it, it does have to be nighttime. And if we look around here, you're gonna actually gonna see there's a tent here. If we go here at night, you're gonna see that there's a bunch of fireflies that are there. And to collect them, you just have to crouch, sneak up on them and catch them. And you can even buy them from Beetle here as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just buy the rest that I need. So I'll actually just take them all. So after we get the fireflies, then we're going to go back to Piper. After giving the fireflies to Piper, so Piper is going to be waiting up in the tree. And what we need to do is we have to wait until nightfall. Then what he wants us to do is bring someone named Haiti over to the tree. So that way he can show them the fireflies. So what we can do is if we just quickly go by the stable here, sit by this pot until night. Once it's nighttime, then what we'll do is just go inside the stable. And you're going to see this kid right here and tell them to follow you. And then once they're following you, you're just gonna bring them over to the tree where Piper is waiting. Then we're gonna have a little quick cutscene. Piper's gonna play her a quick song. Now, if that isn't showmanship, I don't know what is. So after we complete this quest for Piper, he's then going to go back to the outskirts stable and we'll be ready to unlock our second fairy. So after we head back to the outskirts stable, we're going to speak to Mastro again and he's going to say that they're ready to make some music and they want to play their music for the next great fairy. But he's saying that they're not able to get there because the road's been blocked with some rocks. So if we just go over here, we're going to quickly grab the wheel and we're just gonna fix this vehicle then after we fix it just quickly get yourself a steering stick attach that real quick then we're gonna take their broken wagon and we're gonna attach it to the vehicle as well just like this so after we do that we'll then speak with mastro just tell him to get in and bring him over there also as a quick tip and a word of advice make sure you look at the arrows to see which direction they're pointing in because i accidentally put them facing opposite ways and i wasn't able to drive the vehicle properly so just make sure they're all pointing in the same direction so you don't have any issues and then once everything is good to go we're just going to go ahead and drive up this rocky mountain here and we're just going to bring the band over to the great fairy right over here okay and then after they play the song now we have level two upgrades unlocked two fairies down two more to go let's Let's go get that third fairy. So the next place we need to go to is all the way up north and it's going to be the Snowfield Stable. You can always travel to this shrine right here or if you go over to the Lucky Clover Gazette you can follow this path all the way through to Bantha Hills and it'll take you right to the Snowfield Stable as well. So once we get to the stable we're just going to go ahead and find the Mastro again. We're going to speak with him and this time around he's going to say that he's looking for a horn player. So we can see that the great fairy is just up on that mountain there. So just south of Rito Village, if we take this path from the Lucky Clover Gazette all the way down here in between Nero Hill and Piper Ridge, which is right where the Tabantha Bridge stable is, there's a spot right here where we're going to find the horn player. You know that we're going to get close because there's going to be a monster camp on the right and there's like these uh, structures here. And if we just keep going a little bit further, you're going to see this big 
smoke signal. The horn player, he's actually stuck in a hole. So we're gonna jump in here, we're gonna speak with him quickly, and we'll start his quick quest. So we have to find a way to get him out of this hole. And what the game wants you to do is it wants you to make some sort of hot air balloon device with everything that's here, attach it all together, and fly our way out of here. What you can do instead is if you actually just take these three boxes here, what we then can do is we can actually just create almost like stairs, put it up against the wall, and then what we'll do is we're actually going to just climb it like this. We're then going to grab the wagon, lift him up, and we're just going to put him up just like that. And there you go. And that's the best way to do it. Now, after we get him free, he's actually going to give us a little reward. And this is very important. Okay. We're going to need this bee honey later. So don't use it. Whatever you do, don't use it because it's going to be very important for the next quest. So now that that's done, we're going to go back to Snowfield Stable. And once we get back to the stable, let's just talk to the Mastro again. And he's going to be happy that we found the horn player and that he's ready to go up to the Great Fairy. Except... We need to put a roof on his wagon. So what we'll do is we're just going to grab a couple large pieces of wood like this. We're just going to attach these two pieces together. And then we're going to put it on top like this. And that should be good. So let's go ahead and talk to the Mastro now. And there you go. Perfect. So now that they're happy, and now we're going to bring them over to the Great Fairy, which is very close by. Collect another Silver Rupee, and the third Fairy quest is complete. And now we can upgrade to Armor Level 3. So that's three Fairies down, one last one to go. Let's go get that final Fairy. Okay, and to start the final quest for the last Great Fairy, we need to head over to Dueling Peaks Stable. So southeast from Lookout Landing, but more notably, just south of Kakariko Village, it's going to be a much faster trip for you. And you're just going to go all the way down past this bridge and you'll get right to Dueling Peaks Stable. So once we get to the stable here, we're going to then speak to the Mastro. He's going to talk about the last great fairy, Katera, who's just over there surrounded by a body of water. And he's looking for a drummer. So to find the drummer, it's actually pretty simple. So what we'll do is if we just follow this path here, this one road, if we go all the way through here, through this, past this bridge, there's going to be this almost like a little inlet or tunnel area. And off to the right, there's going to be someone inside of a tent. So either taking this road or you can also go south of Kakariko Village as well. See this little rocky tunnel area? So if we just walk through this, you're going to see the drummer is right here. And this is the easiest one. And all he wants is the honey. So now we're going to give him the honey that the horn player gave us from the last quest and we get a hundred rupees just for that after we give him the honey he's gonna head back to the stable and after this little quest is complete now we're just gonna head back to the dueling peak stable and we're gonna get ourselves that final fairy unlocked and once we head back to the stable here we're gonna go ahead and talk to the mastro one more time and he has his full band so the last thing that we need to do we just need to make it over to katera now the only issue is the bridge to get to the great fairy is broken so in order for us to cross we're gonna have to think of something else so the ferries across the river all we need to do is just make a boat for them so we can grab a sail a couple fans as well grab the steering stick we can put this too then after we're done creating our makeshift boat we're just gonna grab their wagon attach it and then speak with the master again then once everyone's in we're just gonna go ahead and grab this we're gonna make our way across the river towards the great fairy and then once you make it across they're just gonna go ahead and do their final song and that's it the final quest is done you can now maximize all the way up to level four now do keep in mind the higher level that you start upgrading these things they are gonna start costing a lot more material and it does start to get very pricey so there you guys have it all four great fairies have been unlocked all the quests are done i hope you found this video helpful if you did please be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because i have a lot more zelda tears of the kingdom content coming your way soon thank you guys so much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys in the next video